To understand how delta neutral trading works, we first need to define what the options delta is. When calculating an options price, we use five components called the Greeks. The delta is one of these Greeks and simply put, is an indication of the amount by which an option price is expected to move in proportion to a price movement in the underlying. It is usually expressed as a number to four decimal points. Call options always have a positive delta, which may vary from virtually zero to a maximum of one. Put options always have a negative delta and work the same way as call options, that is, from zero to negative one. When an option strike price is the same as the current stock price, it is called at the money. At the money call and put options theoretically have a delta of 0.5 and negative 0.5 respectively, which means that for each point the underlying moves, the option price will initially move at half the same rate. But the further in the money an option goes, the greater the delta, up to a maximum of one. This effectively means that as the option price becomes profitable, it does so at an accelerating rate. So let's imagine we were looking at some options with a strike, that is to say an exercise price, of $100, and then compared this to various prices at which the underlying stock might trade. We notice the following. When the underlying stock price is at $85, $100 call options will be out of the money and have a delta of about 0.0148. When the stock price is at $85, $100 put options will be in the money and have a delta of negative 0.9852. The total of these two deltas, ignoring negative and positive, equals one. So when the underlying stock price is at $85, the value of a put option contract with a strike price of $100 would increase at almost a one-to-one -one ratio with the underlying if the stock price continues to fall below $85. The way out of the money $100 call option, however, would hardly move in value at all. So the delta is a measure of the sensitivity of option prices to the price movements in the underlying. Now let's look at delta neutral trading in action. The first way it can be used is when hedging your share portfolio. Let's say we own 200 shares, which are currently trading at $110. We want to hedge our shares against future loss, but also in such a way that we can profit from a rise in share price as well. We observe that the options delta for $110 put options is negative 0.42, and they cost 91 cents each. We also note from today's list of option prices that should the share price rise to $112, our put options will decrease in value to around 28 cents each with a delta of negative 0.16. The delta of the company shares themselves will of course be one. Our 200 shares have a total delta of two, that is two times one. We need to purchase five times $110 put option contracts at a delta of negative 0.42 to give us a total delta of 2.1, that is five times negative 0.42. Our overall position delta therefore is negative 0.1, that is two minus 2.1. Now let's see what happens next. Scenario number one, the stock price increases. Should the share price now increase to $112, our put options will decrease in value to 28 cents, ignoring time decay, and our loss will be 63 cents per contract, or $315 in total. That is 63 cents times 100 times five. Our shares, however, will increase in value by $400, that is 200 times $2 share increase. So our overall net profit on paper will be $85. That is the $400 share increase minus the $315 options loss or 42 and a half cents per share. Now let's have a look at another scenario where the stock price falls. 
If the share price now falls by $2 to $108, our put options will be in the money and increase in value to $2.14 with a delta of negative 0.73 and realize a profit of $1.23 per contract or $615 total profit. That is 1.23 times 100 times 5. Our loss on the shares will be $400 that is 200 shares times a $2 loss per share. So our overall profit will be $215 or 1.075 per share. These two scenarios work on the assumption that the underlying price movements will be in the short term and do not take into account the time decay factor in option pricing. Nevertheless, all the information you need for delta neutral trading can be obtained from looking at the option strike price data on your broker's site. Once you understand how delta neutral trading works, why limit yourself to hedging shares? Instead of risking $22,000 on 200 shares at $110 each, why not set up the same position for a fraction of the cost using a synthetic stock position, that is, buying calls and selling puts at the same strike price, instead of buying the shares themselves or using contracts for difference, otherwise known as CFDs, in certain countries where they're allowed. Synthetic stock positions have a 1.0 delta with the underlying, so you can receive the same outcomes and put your funds to better use elsewhere. Now let's look at delta neutral trading with options, and in particular, straddles and strangles. The straddle is the most widely known delta neutral option trading strategy. A straddle is defined by the purchase of an equal number of at the money call and put options with the same expiration date. Since at the money options have a delta of around 0.5 and since call deltas are positive and put deltas are negative, the one will balance out the other to make the overall position delta neutral. Strangles, on the other hand, use out-of-the-money options whose deltas will be much less than 0.5 or negative 0.5. But again, depending on the price of the underlying financial instrument in relation to the option strike prices when you buy, their respective deltas should practically neutralise each other. Excellent profits can be made from delta neutral trading using options alone, but you must be aware of the other Greeks, particularly theta, otherwise known as time decay, when choosing your positions. Now let's look at straddles and share transactions, known as gamma scalping. Once you understand how delta neutral trading really works, you can use it to profit from straddle trades another way. In our example above, we used the delta to determine how many option contracts we would need to purchase to hedge the shares that we own but we can also do it the other way around. If we start with a straddle in place, we can use the delta for various strike prices to determine how many shares we would need to buy or sell in order to remain delta neutral. Remember, company stocks always have a delta of one, while options don't. We can take advantage of this knowledge and use straddles combined with going long or short shares to scalp profits. This is an advanced but effective day trading strategy.